Welcome back, Survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Imperion. All right, guys. So, working on the ship is what we are doing. Trying to see what we can get done. So, we've got the inside. Yeah, we've got the inside of the ship done. Well, I say done. Um, we've got we've got a good little bit of the ship done here. Normally, I save the interior until the end, but you know what? I figured we'd just throw it in there as we're working back. That way, we can kind of judge and space what we need and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So, we've got this right here. Now, I'm kind of thinking that I need a couple extra storages here. Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of that guy. So I always like to have a couple of boxes that have miscellaneous things in them, you know, the the weapons, the armor, and then, you know, medical supplies, any of the little, like with the, we have the blueprints and stuff now. So I'm going to go ahead and put in four cargo boxes right there. And they, and I know they don't have to be huge. 8,000 should, I'm hoping should be plenty of, uh, of storage space there for that stuff. So we've got that. I've got an extra two space right here just in case I need to put something. I don't know what I would put there. Um, let me see. Is there anything? I'm trying to see if we're missing. Oh, and guys, just in case I did miss something and y'all are commenting, I am doing uh, all this whole build back to back just in case anyone is wondering uh, why I'm not doing any suggestions or doing anything if I had left a comment or anything like that That's just because I have a busy weekend and I needed to be able to get this done That's part of the reason why we're doing the build in creative mode so I can just get it done and we'll you know Continue on from there. But anyway, like I was saying, what are we missing? Are we missing anything? I don't think we're missing anything. We've got a food processor. We've got a constructor. We've got a repair station. We've got boxes. We've got medical supplies. We've got the fridges. Uh, we've got the O2 station. Armor locker's already in. You know what I could do? Just, just because you never know. You never know, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put in an extra seat. Like right there that way we just have a seat sitting there chilling just in case we ever have a passenger and let's see let's go ahead and we'll extend this back out i don't know I don't know how far. We still got to put a warp drive in. I cannot forget the warp drive. We need to put the warp drive in and a shield generator. Um, we got so much stuff to put in. Let me try to get this ventilator and the uh, the, o, the 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 Wi-Fi in here real fast before we forget with it. You know, I'd love it if they made where the Wi. You know what? That's what we could have put down in here. Um, we could have just tucked the Wi-Fi away right there. That's what we're gonna do. Wi-Fi is right there under the stairs. Okay, Wi-Fi is now taken care of, or taken care of, however you want to say it. Things, stuff. Okay, Wi-Fi is good, and we can change the shape of our ventilator, so I can literally put it anywhere. Um, I think we're just going to do a flat block. I mean, I hate the fact that it's going to be uneven there. I really do. I can put it here. Above that seat. You know what? Let's just tuck it away right there. There's a ventilator. There is a ventilator. We've got it. It'll produce air. It's good. Okay. So, let me go ahead and remove that. Remove this. Add this. Shields. Okay, so 
here we are we've got more thrust to put in i need down thrust too i just remembered that on the top side uh we've got a little bit of up thrust let's see there's the pentaxid tank and if i want to put a cargo or not a cargo hold but a a thing a ship um um an HV, HV storage. If I'm going to put one of those on there, I probably should do that as well. Let me see. You know what? We might just go ahead and do the down. Oh, that exposes that. No, let's not put it there. Let's not put it in that one or that one. It's going to have to be further back. What do we got under this? That is interior of the ship. I think... We're really not going to be over there doing anything. So I think a thruster right there would be okay. And then I'm going to put another thruster right there so that we, we have four down. Yeah, so that'll be good right there. 19 side to side, 37 in reverse. Okay, how are we doing on CPU? We are at 336,000. Thousand. But that's okay, though, because that's still only a tier two at the moment and we haven't even put in any crew if we need to put in some crew um you know that's something that i just really i don't know i mean the ship is big but it's not too big if i do put in some crew it's probably gonna be some human crews So let me just put, let me put that in and see, does that, it does still apply. Yeah, see that drops it. That drops it with the negative. Yep. Okay. So we don't need that right now, but we have that option if we do need it. So that is good. Very, very, see, technically I could put in four or five crew and get this down to a tier one if I wanted to. Well, right now in its current state, it, it won't last that long. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I think we're going to end up needing the ship a little bit longer than what it is. I think we're a little bit cramped and I might have to space some of this stuff out. I'm going to go ahead and add in another set of storage. That gives us 168,000. That's a little bit better on the storage. I feel a little bit more confident with 168,000. I mean, yeah, it's only a couple boxes, but that would be that'd be so much better. And who knows, we might end up putting in another row or two just depending on how we do this backside here. Okay, so we've got that. So the big issue is where do I put, see, it's, I don't know. I'm trying to get it to where I can put a tank, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. We might have to flare it out again. Uh. Let's try that. So if we were to do this, that would give me that guy to work with. And then I can either bring that down.
I mean, that'd give me a little bit more room on the side here, but that doesn't really, that doesn't really help me though, does it? Uh, let's see, what can we do here with this? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what I want done. Part of me says that because of how big this warp drive is. Part of me says that I'm going to need this out here to be fairly big. Okay. Well, like I said, we can always add in a couple of CPU on the, or a couple of crew for the CPU if we need it. If we go a little bit big, I'm just hoping that we don't go like crazy big here. Uh, Do I want to keep doing it like this? Because that's going to look weird. Okay. So what is behind that? Uh, of course it was. Of course it was. I was really hoping that was just going to be a solid block there, but no, no, it wasn't. Still trying to think what to do, what to do, what to do. 
Uh, so frustrating. I hate, this is the part that I hate because I'm like, we're so close to having a cool looking ship and then we have these giant oversized parts that we're like, gotta find room to shove those in somewhere. You know, kind of like back here, now we've got this and it's like, you know, I'm gonna have this huge flat spot that I'm not gonna like. No, don't do that. So if I put it right there, good, it did not mirror it. Yeah, it didn't mirror it. They finally fixed it to where the stuff that can't be mirrored doesn't mirror. Uh, <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. All right, I'm just going to cover that up. And that does leave us with the empty spot right there. What can I put in there? Maybe we need, you know what, I'm going to put an extra fuel tank in there. That's what I'm going to do. Because it's probably not going to hurt if we have an extra fuel tank tossed off in the ship yeah it's a little odd little, what, what do we have how many fuel tanks do we have do we have four four there five okay so that'll be the fifth tank uh do that and then the shield generator and eh, she's gonna be a fat one no matter where i put her hmm See, this is the problem. This is the problem because I have a 3x5 three on one side and then I have a 3x3 three three on the other side. And in order to get them to match, I would have to tuck it in the wall a little bit more. Which is going to kind of, yeah, that expose it right there. Uh, what's this block? Ooh, that's an outside block. Ooh, that's not an outside block. Okay, hang on, hang on. Right there. Fill that back in. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is, hmm, what can I do? What can I do to do this, guys? So many things. Uh, let's just do that. Hmm.
Okay, that might work. Okay, hold on. Yes. Okay. So we've got that. That's actually looking fairly good. If I do, because I need more, I'm going to need more side thrust. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so we've got that. Now, yeah, that bottom is going to be a little bit flat right there, but that's okay. I think, I don't think that's going to hurt anything if we have that section flat. Um, well, at least not too much anyway. Yes, and then we'll put a couple more guns up here on top. Yep, that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. Hmm. What's our CPU at? 461,000. Yeah, we're going to end up... We're going to most definitely end up needing to put in a couple of crew. Uh, You know what? Let's put in Yeah, let's put in some glass around this. And I know, mirror mode's still on over here. Yep. That figure... Sh so should I scoot this over one? What is this block right here? Well, no, I don't even have to. You know what? I'm going to just scoot that over. No, it deleted my warp drive. Why? Why would you delete my warp drive? Not once did I ever ask you to delete the warp drive. Game. You are seriously agitating me. Well, you know what I could do? I mean, I know that's... Could always do that. No, it did it again. But that does stick out one. You know, while we do that, that'd probably be the best and easiest way to mirror this thing. And we'll just have a little thick spot in the armor on both of them. You know what? Do th no, do this. Do this. Take that. Um
Yeah, I'm gonna put instead of having having that one one drive over there, I'm gonna put or not drive, but instead of having the one fuel tank, we'll put two of them on this side to offset it, and now we have six fuel tanks. And everything's the same size. Good. Oops. Okay, so where are we at now with what we got? We're at 464,000. 946 not bad that is not bad and so what i think what i think i want to do okay hold on we're just going to do it like this let me get let me get a multi-tool because this thing's going to be weird when i go to pull stuff out and i'm not trying to constantly have to do things let me just get a multi-tool Let me move this guy back. Do I want to move him back? I think I want to move him back. I can either move, you know, see now I want to, <laughs> now I want to redo the whole inside again. Oh, it's so horrible. I hate when I do this. I really do. Cause I'm like, Ooh, I could do this now and I could do that now. And, Ooh, this could fit over here. <sighs> I really hate doing that. I really hate doing that. But I want that to be a little further up, I think. Okay, where's my medical devices? There they are. You know what? I think I think I'm gonna do this instead because I really don't need direct access to all that stuff. I mean, having them exposed is kind of nice, but eh. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that there. So if I were to do hmm, that one, that one, do that guy, do that guy, then I could actually come in here with a couple of crew. I can put like a tactical officer there. Oh, I don't even know a receptionist. No. Quit doing things like that. You quit doing things like that. Why did you get... Hmm. Odd. Anyway. Uh, let's see. No, I don't need no dancers. Uh, working at a terminal, debate, debate, workplace, workplace, receptionist, remote worker, remote workers, tactical, commanding officer, commander at a chart. Yeah, I kind of like that. Where can we put you? That is not supposed to be there. That needs to be moved. I better not mess up and forget something. You go there. You are not supposed to be there either. 
I'm going to move that chair back. Here. Yeah, I'm going to put that dude there. Okay, so we have... Mm, actually, give me... Yes, this way it looks a little bit different. There we go. So that gives me three, three, uh, three stations so far. So that will bring us down to 389. That should be more than enough. That's going to cost me like 30 gold and 750 money cards extra. But that's okay because we've got gold and we've got some money cards. So that's not a big deal. That will add in a little bit of crew to the ship. Let's see, I need a cockpit now. Because I'm going to forget and not put the cockpit down. Where is my cockpit? There it is. I'm just going to put that... I don't know, I'm just going to put that for right there. Right now, I'm just going to put it right there. Uh, let's see. I might I might dress it up. I don't know, we'll see. That kind of looks just, well, yeah, that does look pretty plain. That does, in fact, look pretty plain. Um, 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 it's always with the ums. Do a little something like that. Now we got to dress it up a little bit because we can't just have it plain. Plain is not going to work. Double rail. Ooh. That looks kind of cool, but no, that's not what I need. That is not what I need. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. That gives us a little bit of a captain's bridge feel. And technically, if I wanted to put one more crew down. Boom. Got me a little guard up front. That's my security officer. If anyone asks, he's security. All right, guys. Well... We're that much closer to getting it done. Uh, I'm liking it so far. We got we got a little ways to go. We most certainly do got a little ways to go, but it is coming together quite nicely, I do think. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. You guys just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors.
keep on surviving.